Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here, and I love a good fairy tale ending. Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than one night should. Yeah, Hollywood, well kiss me, kiss me good. Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than one Today I want to talk about a very interesting series. You can't find it in the theaters, and you can't find it on television. You can actually find it on the internet. I have never actually reviewed an internet animated series, but I want to talk about the Rooster Teeth produced Ruby, spelled R-W-B-Y. It is created by the same people that did the landmark machinima series of Red vs. Blue, which is incredible, of course, and if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out. Ruby is the story of four girls that are in an alternative universe of Earth, and it's a mixture of anime, grim fairy tales, and just a flat-out large amount of action amongst great comedy and very relatable characters. I was very interested in seeing it. I had no idea that it even came out this past summer, but while the animation itself may be crude, let's also remember the fact that it is a made-for-internet series, it's quite entertaining. If you are a fan of fairy tales like Little Red Riding Hood, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, etc., and you are also a fan of great anime like Trigun and even the comedies like Azumangadayo, you are going to absolutely love this. And it's even got a lot of great movie elements thrown in there. Like, I feel like it's got a little bit of a Harry Potter vibe because it's the story of these four young girls, two sisters named Ling and Ruby, and their friends Blaze and Vice. And basically it's all about them learning how to be hunters. And the hunters are the people who are the select few that are sent out to hunt these mythical creatures that are bent on evil called the Grimm. And it's got a lot of interesting plot twists. It's always fun to try and pick out exactly what the reference of each character could be to film or fairy tales or pop culture. And the best part is, after the 16 to 17 episodes that it was, it all goes on a crazy cliffhanger. And I'm really excited for the second season. Of course, what also drives this show is the phenomenal soundtrack played by Jeff Williams and his daughter Casey. It's a beautiful blend of classical and some heavy metal, alternative rock mixed in with some pop and dance. I definitely will review the soundtrack in one of my future videos this month, but if you like anime and you just want to see something nice and new and fresh, then go and look at roosterteeth.com, or you can even find the series on YouTube. Also check out the four trailers showing each and every one of the main four female characters. I really think that you will get a kick out of this series, Ruby. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed and if you have seen it, please let me know, and also give me your attitude on Red vs. Blue if you have watched it. So I'll see you guys soon, and remember that actions speak louder than words. Hey,